the resurrection of Jesus Christ it can be shown to be historical fact. It is the most important aspect of Christianity. The most important. It is the center. And what's the impact? Well, it declares Jesus to be the Son of God. It frees you as a believer in Christ from the bondage to sin. It gives you victory over death so death no longer has a sting to it. And it places you in a family with an inheritance that is kept in heaven just for you. Jesus is risen. He's risen indeed. Don't be afraid to investigate that fact with all of the powers and all of the resources of knowledge and investigation available to you. Don't be afraid to. Because what you will find is you will find not a dead man in a tomb somewhere that we can go and honor, but you will encounter the living Christ who will change you forever. Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for your word. And this day above all days that you would consider human beings who reject and refute and refuse you. That you would consider them worthy of a death on the cross just so they could be forgiven and enter into your presence. Lord, that is amazing. It's beyond my comprehension because except for the love that you give me, I do not have such love. No man has that much love except one who laid down his life for his friends. And he calls us friends. He calls you friend. This morning, I not only invite you to seek the truth, I invite you, if you are not a believer in Jesus Christ, I invite you at this moment in time, right now, today, turn around and walk the other way purpose in your heart to follow Jesus. You don't have to have all of the answers right now. But if you will purpose to follow Him, you will find Him. You will find Him. That's His promise. And so I will invite while Christians here are praying, heads bowed, eyes closed, don't make a spectacle of things here. But if you are here this morning and you are not a follower of Jesus, and, and I don't have to explain that. You know what I mean by that. You know it in your heart. If that's you and you say, Pastor, today, I, 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 do, want to, I do want to change direction. I, I want to seek after Jesus. I want to believe in him. I don't want his life and his forgiveness. And I want to be adopted into that family too. If that's you this morning, I ask you to do two things. While Christians are praying that you would make the same decision that they made, that you slip up your hand and slip it back down so I can see you. And then I'm going to pray with you here with everybody else. And then I'd ask you to come see me privately after the service because I don't want to talk to you a little bit more and let you know what, what that means and give you a Bible, give you some, give you some other information. So very quickly, before we close, is there anyone here this morning who would like to make that commitment to say, yes, I want to follow Jesus? I know I haven't been. If that's you, now's your time to just slip up your hand and slip it back down. Is there anyone? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for your people in this place, for your creations in this place. I thank you for each and every person here. And I pray that no matter where they are in their walk of faith, 
Lord, I pray that today you would encounter them, interrupt their life, and remind them of who you are. Or let them know for the first time who you are. Because you are risen indeed. And now may the Lord God Almighty bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and grant you the peace that passes understanding. May he lift up his countenance upon you and grant you to know him all the days of your life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and King who will be here soon. Amen and amen. God bless you.